Wow, look at this yard. Look at that view. Wow. Every, all the plants here are so much bigger. Look at this maple tree right here. Some of them call it the star maple. Japanese also call it the waterfall maple. So here, this is actually interesting. This is protein. So you do, is it marble that does all those? Yeah. So you look at this. This guy's a welder and he does all of the sets for, what? what's the studio? Marble. Marble studio. Marble studio. The city told me that for us to put a water feature in, we have to get a permit. So I went over there to get the permit and they asked me what I was putting in. And I said, a pondless waterfall is going to be a rain harvest system. And he said, what is that? So the first thing I see when we pull up here, Tony, is some basalt columns. Did they do these themselves? Yes, they did. We put in a water feature and I told them how cool it is. Aquascapes makes it with a homeowner themselves can do this work. And the next thing I know when I come back to visit them, I look at the front door and voila, I said, how cool is that? And what a beautiful way to set off a front door. Beautiful home. Check out the landscaping. These people love their plants. They know every name, every variety. I mean, they are in love with, with the landscape. I love it. Wow, look at this yard. Up here is the view that they have. Gosh, this is so fun. Beautiful deck. Oh, yeah. I hear it. Look at that view. Every, all the plants here are so much bigger. Look at this maple tree right here. I love it, it kind of disappears behind it and comes out on the bottom. They got a nice seating area down there. Oh yes, so that's, that's one of your go-to plants. What's it called again? It's called a Ryushin maple and some of them call it the star maple. Japanese also call it the waterfall maple because it never gets any taller once they're grafted. They come down and grow across the ground. Just so like that'll, the that'll come down and flow. Yep, just like that at your house. They'll literally come across that if they don't keep it under control. This is absolutely a stunning backyard. They got a fire pit out in the back and everything faces the waterfalls. Got a nice bridge there, Tony. Wow. When you have a slope to work with, you have a palette as an artist to create. So how long did you build this? This has been in about a little over a year, maybe a year and a half. Okay, so newer. And there was a wall in here and I got with a homeowner. You know, a lot of times we don't think homeowners can do something. We got him to tear this out. He did a fantastic job. So we brought in a machine, we set the boulders, we created the bridge here to walk over because their daughter, when she came to my house, loved my bridge. Okay. So when we built the water feature, we had to make our bridge, so we actually put a ribbon on it when she came home from camp. We closed her eyes and let her come out and cut the ribbon to start the water. Feature. That's cute. How old is she? Now she's like seven, I believe. Okay, so a young little very girl. Young. So here, this is actually interesting. This is protein. So this is basically organics that you'll get when it rains a lot. We've had a lot of rain, right? Right, a lot of rain. Yeah. yeah. So you can get, you can actually add a product called Foam Away that would get, we Aquascape makes that would get rid of that, or in a couple of days that'll go away on its own. Look at the ajuga right here. Once again, the landscaping is so important. It's the decorations on the Christmas tree. So what would a project, uh, that's a beautiful maple. What would a project like this sell for from Aquatic Creations? I think we did this one for 16.5, I believe it was. What a great investment. How long did it take to build with you and your three guys? Actually, I think it was about three and a half days. Beautiful. What a change in three and a half days. Out here doing some yard work, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's ready. Yeah. Pond guy, Greg? Deno. 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 All right, I love it. You bought a house that had an existing water feature? I guess you can call it that. Okay. <laughs> How long ago was that? 2015. Okay, so, so recently. So this is, you're yeah, new to the hobby. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But then Tony said that you've enjoyed it so much you've actually want to expand it. Yeah. I love it. So this guy bought a house with a, was it, was it an oxy water feature, Tony, or was it not? No. So, okay, so here's the pot. Beautiful. Oh, look at this little setting back here. Oh, look at that Missouri. 
Look at those wow. fish. That's I bet awesome. you feed them right here. Cause they're coming up. They they hear us coming up. They're they're excited. Well, look at look at the view up there from that window. You can just look right down into here. That's great. What did you end up doing here, well, Tony? We came in basically. It was not as deep. There were no rocks in the pond. There were basically a few around it. And then when we came up, the waterfall basically consists of two posts sticking up with a pipe coming through a ladder. Okay. He's a homeowner. Built it himself. Yeah, and it was it was uh it needed some work. <laughs> and uh, so we uh we came in and Dano said, let's go to work and make it pretty, man. You know, we built the pond. We had to get a special machine. Just for this rock, it's so large because he had it. In oh the my place. gosh! Made the perfect landing. Yep. And we had to set it. We call those up. we call those destination boulders. Like you said, you sit in that chair with your son and feed the fish. And then he's come in afterwards and done all the framing of this. Mostly all these plants, everything. He's come in and actually dressed this up. It's there. It's it's a labor of love. It's therapeutic. Right now, you're getting your therapy for the day. You got your fish cave down here. All right. Well, I'll see you guys later tonight. <laughs> Where'd you get your fish from? Most of the fish were in uh, in here when we got when we started. Okay. Well, they got some nice fun. This food surrey here is beautiful. Yeah, I added a couple. I added a couple. How much maintenance is it? None. I love it. It's an <laughs> ecosystem. Work with Mother Nature, not against her. You just got to sit there and feed the fish and enjoy it. I bet you this thing is lit up like a Christmas tree at night, huh? That's lit up, yeah. It's that's an enjoyable time. Aquascape ecosystem water feature. Nice deep pond, underwater fish cave, skimmer hidden over on that side. Nice use of the log to hide it. Look at this log over here. And this is the stuff he said he got out of the woods right on property. Look at that log. And then all these plant roots will help filter this out. And then of course the view from inside the house is so important. And that looks like a a sitting room that looks right down into it. So the average person gets three water features, big, bigger, biggest, okay? It's a labor of love and people just absolutely get addicted to them, I and know. This, this area over here is where I do my drilling. We're building a, an awning to come over and cover, but I'd like to do a, a waterfall that comes down both directions. Oh my gosh. Into a pond and then, a, and then another smaller little pond here. That's perfect. So you do, is it Marvel that does all those? Yeah. So you look at this, this guy's a welder and he does all of the sets for, now how cool is that? Does all of the sets for, what, what's the studio that films those? Marvel, Marvel Studios. Marvel Studios and they're based in Atlanta, huh? Well, they're, they're, they're they have a lot of, a big presence in Atlanta. Okay. Not based here, but, yeah. what, a, what a cool job, building sets for movies. Well, thank you for the hospitality, Dano. Very nice meeting you and cool profession you have there. We need more welders. Relax. I love it because here's a guy that bought a house with an existing water feature, not a very nice looking water feature. And uh, Tony came in and not only rebuilt him a beautiful water feature, but now he wants another water feature. And that is living the aquascape lifestyles. And another one. All right, so this is kind of an interesting one. You actually did a rainwater harvesting system for a car wash, huh? Yeah, they wanted to have something different offer and we got to talk about it. He thought a, car, he thought a waterfall was a cool idea, but he didn't know about rain harvest. Uh -huh. When I told him we could do rain harvest off the roof of the building, he just thought that was the greatest thing in the world. He said, how cool would that be? They can't say we're actually wasting water because we're trying to recycle as much as we can. Okay. And so now he wants us to do two more. Because you have two at the same place or different car washes? It's going to be two more car washes. Sweet. And the guy, I'll I, see now what he says, but they told me I'm the only one right now that don't have a budget. <laughs> because they're just so happy with it. What, what I think is really funny about this is the city made you get a permit. <laughs> Talk about that, that was funny. Well, the city told me that for us to put a water feature in, we have to get a permit. So I went over there to get the permit and they asked me what I was putting in. And I said, a pondless waterfall, it's gonna be a rain harvest system. And he said, what is that? And I told him what, how it works. And he said, well, it's gonna be $75, but we don't know what that is. Would you mind teaching us <laughs> what a pondless waterfall in a rain harvest system is? So the inspectors come over and literally watch me build it so they could learn what it was I was building that I paid them a permit for. <laughs> that is the honest truth. And then you got to do the seal of approval that it was built right. Well, I told them, I said, I inspected it myself and I looked at it and it looked like it was pretty good. Do y'all see any problems? And they said, no, we don't see any. But, oh, here it is. All right. So this is all recycled water from the roof, huh? Yep. Oh, that is so sweet. Now, every car wash needs a waterfall. They just don't know it yet. Well, they're putting two more in and they want them bigger than this. Awesome.
think that's pretty nice. So what did you, what was this, the selling price of this project? This one was about $18,000 for what we did. Nice. Uh, but what we had a problem with is we were doing this when they were constructing it, and the gutters were supposed to come down, and, and we had shot grade on here because we're tight on the curb, and the fall from here to where the water's coming in from the downspout. So when the plumbers came in, instead of putting an elbow on it to bring the water and keep it high into the sidewalk, they put a long sweeping elbow on them. So the water came in way below where it was supposed to. Uh huh. So we had to get creative and we had to put a bulkhead in the side of the liner and bring the water in low. Ah. So the water is actually coming in much lower. Fills it up from the it fills up from the bottom up. Yeah, it's coming in at a lower angle, but then it fills up here and there's an overflow out of the back of the curb with two pipes to take it out. How many, how many aqua blocks did you use? What's the storage base in here? This one has 32 aqua blocks in it. Okay, and that is living the aquascape lifestyles. Hey, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe, and follow along as we go to cool, cool places with cool people and beautiful water features. Man, I love my job. Do I click? <laughs>